everybody it's great to be with you in one of our uh, thriving five videos my name's Angela and what I'd like to talk to you about this morning is the importance of staying connected and that might seem a bit weird at the moment to you because actually we're living in a time aren't we when the government and everything about life is actually about staying away from each other we're told to socially distance and to work from home and you know, not have social interactions. But I don't know about you, but I think 2020 has probably been one of the most challenging years for me in that respect, because I love to meet up with other people. I'm one of those sorts of people that I have lots of friends. I've got lots of people, you know, that, that in my church family, but also in my wider social group, I love meeting people at work. And not being able to do that is an absolute flip isn't it on how we naturally like to live so it's been really challenging and the other thought that came to me about connections is I spend a lot of my time working from home and one of the most frustrating things is I have to I have to use video conferencing and use my computer to have meetings and to be able to connect with other people and sometimes the internet is disrupted and I lose a connection and it's really frustrating so it's made, it's really brought home to me how important being connected to other people, also having connections on the internet, which is a practical thing, but connections in general are just so important. And so the other thoughts that I've been having about, about all that as well is, you know, we've just, we've just started in another lockdown, haven't we? And when we had the first lockdown um, in sort of the earlier part of the year, we probably thought, oh, this is a you know, this this is a bit like a, a shot going on, on our on our package holiday. We packed our, our suitcase and got on a plane and thought we're just going to be on this up in this in the air for a couple of hours and we can see the end in sight and it's all going to be over very soon. But actually what we've realised is it's probably more of a long haul flight than just a short trip to Europe. We're probably going to the other side of the world, somewhere like Australia or New Zealand. And that's an, a completely different ball game. We need a lot more in our suitcase made available to us. And it, it made me got me thinking about actually aeroplanes. What keeps an aeroplane up in the air is its engines. And and the, the aeroplane has a number of you know it has its main engines, but then it has backup. And I think for us, we need to think from a well-being point of view. Actually, what's going to keep us? up in the air, what, what's gonna, how are we going to keep ourselves well um, and, and it, through this really difficult period? So, so what is our, what is our, what's the state of our engines and what is our backup? And that's really linked to me to around connections because we know that the, all the research and as part of my job, one of the things that, that I'm involved in is supporting teams and individuals to stay well at work and to flourish and we know that having really strong relationships and connections with others is absolutely fundamental to our well-being our psychological health and being just a really rounded person you know having those connections is so important and the opposite of that is is isolation and loneliness and we know that that's that's just not good for us we're not designed as humans to be on our own we're designed to, to, to live with social beings, to be with other people. So that's, that's all really important that we think about how we can maintain links with others and how we can have what we need in terms of strong relationships. But I want to really go on to talk to you as well this morning about probably the most important connection that you can ever make as a human being, and that's being connected with God. And the Bible describes how as humans, we're designed to be close to God. That, that, that's, that's how God intended it to be. And, and if we don't have a close relationship with God, um, things just don't seem right. We, you know, we, 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 don't, we don't have that joy, that peace, that fulfillment in life that, that God designed for us and envisaged for us. And so it's really important that, that we have a strong connection with God and we have and we are in relationship with God. So I want to encourage you this morning, if you've never 
you've never heard of that before or you may be tuning into this and you may not be a Christian to just think about that and just, you know, understand and realize that God, God, our God loves you and he wants to make a strong connection with you and he wants he's there for you as your heavenly father. And through sending his son, Jesus, um, to be our savior, you know, over 2000 years ago, um, God has provided a, a way for us to make to reconnect with him in a very real and meaningful way. And as we're in this real position in, in lockdown in 2020, we know that lots of people have, have really rekindled an interest in reconnecting with God. We know that prayer has been has become really, really important to lots of people who otherwise, you know, wouldn't probably think about praying, but it has made a difference to their lives. And if you're a Christian this morning and you've already you're already in relationship with God and you've made that strong connection, I want to encourage you to strengthen it. Maybe that's a goal that you could set yourself over the next few weeks as, as we're going into this period of, of restriction. Let, let set, I'd encourage you to set some small um, changes in your life to actually strengthen that connection that you've got with God. And what I'd like to suggest is that the way that you do that is, is actually get to know God better through the Bible, through reading the Bible, and also through praying on a regular basis. Prayer is our, is our communication channel. We know that we can't be connected to others in any way, shape or form, other, other human beings, unless we're in relationship. We have to talk to them. We have to get to know them. And it's the same with our relationship with God. So knowing God through the Bible, praying. But also the third top tip is have a practical outworking for your faith. So, so actually put it into practice. The Bible tells us that we can't just know God in a theoretical way. It's got to have, we've got to show God's love to others through actually a practical application. So set yourself some, some daily um, targets of actually showing, doing something practically for others on a regular basis to show God's love. I hope this has just been helpful and inspirational to you in some way and it's encouraged you to um, think about your connections with others but most importantly your connection with God. Have a great day and take care. Yeah.